I just wanted to uh, check in with everybody that's worried about me. The doctors have cut my uh, skull open and took a tumor out. I'm sure some people know this. And I have developed an accent that is not mine, that everybody's laughing at. And my pain has been very high the last few days, but they've forgotten me on narco pills that has taken the pain down and making it manageable. They give me steroids so my brain does not swell. And I have these uh, things that make my body shake as a tumor, I mean as a tremor. And they give me Keppra. It is a medication to prevent me from seizing. This, all this stuff works together and it makes me feel better. Um, there was a very low point after the surgery where I feel like I'm going to die. And then Brittany Zinsmeyer and my wife Tivo Gardier shows up and they love on me. And they, they give me the power that they have to continue and they realize that I'm worth it. They make me realize I'm worth it. You know? And then I feel down about myself still because it's, holo it's a holiday and everybody has to take care of me and I should be the one taking care of everybody, you know. And then out of nowhere, I get Richard and Norma Gardier, my brother and sister-in-law, they, they visit me from Fort Worth and they came and they brought a very powerful gift of love that I am grateful for, you know. And then, so, and then my niece Lily and my sister-in-law Tara and my brother Josh and my dad, they come out of nowhere to give me the, their power as well. And I, not religious, I have mentioned that no, my Facebook friends know I'm not religious, but um, they come in here and there's this energy that you can get from people when you need it. And there's these people that love you that are selfless. And they will take the time from their life to come and uh, touch you. And when they do, they are transferring like an energy, a life force. And... I don't want to sound dumb or good. I am on a lot of medication, so you can judge me, it's fine. But I know in about by January, I'm hoping to not have this accent that I developed. <laughs> Cause I talk like with a, uh, it's hard to formulate all of my words, right? Because of the pain, it takes a lot of brain power. So I'm very lazy about it. And luckily I have the nurses and the doctors here and they, they don't judge me, and uh, they know it's a normal thing. And then I have Mrs. Gardier, because I'm lucky, you know, she stayed with me the whole time. She slept in the room with me like a prisoner, <laughs> and she made sure I was taken care of, and it's embarrassing because you have to be naked in the hospital and my baby. Mm -hmm. It's very, you feel very vulnerable. And at the same time, it's a uh, you are very you feel grateful because I know a long time ago I read in the history books you know the, that if you have what I have as a brain tumor you know they used to just crack your head open and bleed you and that did not help that would kill people you know and then I am in a time in life in and in, in medicine has advanced enough to where they can cut my skull open they can take a tumor out of it that's causing me to have seizures and they can put it back and then a few days later I can be rambling on the YouTube you know on the Facebook like this and uh, for that I'm grateful but there are things that uh, are going to be hard for me it's emotional because they give me the Keppra that stops me from having the seizures and the Keppra also makes me a uh, a bit of a baby. I get emotional. But Brittany and Tiva and Norma and Richard and Norman, my dad, you know, I call him Norman. <laughs> and then uh, Tara and Lily, uh, they've given me so much just by being here the you know, last few days. And then I wanted to say thank you to Michael, my brother, because he reaches out to try to come see me, but I did, I knew he needs to be the house, the head of the household, and he needs to be strong there. 
and just knowing that he was doing that made me feel better that I didn't have to take his energy from his family but even that I say that I know he was thinking of me and I can feel it and I just wanted not to cry I wanted to express gratitude Lisa you, you donated to my girlfriend to me and uh Norma's friends and uh, I don't know and uh, I think of my dad as well uh, there were other people donating and there's people 